Hey guys, it's Professor Shelby reporting for duty. I have this little podium set up here with all the shampoo bars and my laptop because I took a lot of notes for this video as I was testing out all of these shampoo bars and I don't wanna miss anything, so excuse that you can see my laptop in the shot a little bit. It's a necessity for how many shampoo bars I tried over the last month or two. In today's video, I'm sure you can guess by the title what we're gonna be doing. I am going to be explaining to you what my thoughts are on all of these shampoo bars that I tested. Now it says that I tested out all of the zero waste shampoo options. Maybe that's technically not true. There are probably a ton of other brands out there, but I picked, I think the top eight or nine, let me count. Yes, I picked the top 10 shampoo bars out there and I'm going to be reviewing all of them today because I tested all of them out on my little scalp. I'm gonna start off with my three favorites and then go from there because the last like really like seven. Not all of them have super redeeming qualities to me where I feel like one is really superior to the other. So we'll go over that. But also something that's really important is I ranked these um, in several categories. So I asked you guys on Instagram, what makes you want a shampoo bar? What is your make or break qualities in a shampoo bar that you look for? And so I ranked all of these in terms of what you responded. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, you absolutely should be. So you can help me do this sort of video and get your inputs so that I can help you as much as possible. Definitely go follow me over there. Username is the same as here, Shell Bizzle. But things you guys said were really important is how it feels after you wash your hair. So if it leaves your hair feeling like stripped or squeaky clean or any of that. You wanted to know if it lathered. That was really important to most of you. You also wanted to know if said shampoo had SLS in it. So I made note of that. You guys also obviously care about things being cruelty free and vegan. So we're gonna report on all of those. And something else that a lot of you guys asked me to look into is if it's palm oil free. So I'm going to be giving you the answers to all of those questions for each and every shampoo and I'm also going to be giving you some additional little tidbits here and there about each shampoo so without further ado Let's get into it. Like I said, we're going to be going from my personal favorite to the ones that I didn't care for quite as much. So that means the first shampoo we have to talk about is the one that I use on a, not daily basis, I do not wash my hair every day, but we can say on a weekly basis. And that shampoo is by Plain Products. It's actually the only shampoo in this range that is in a bottle. And I just love this company so much and this concept and the ease of use, et cetera. So let me get into the main important questions that you guys had about each shampoo and tell you each category I tested this guy for. First things first is the after feel of a wash. A lot of you guys want to know how it made your hair feel immediately after use. So the really cool thing about Plain and the reason that I've kept using Plain is because I don't use a conditioner. I don't like using conditioner on my hair. I feel like it weighs down my hair. I feel like it does more harm than good. So for years I've stopped using conditioner altogether. I think with some of these shampoos we're gonna talk about today that would not be possible because they leave your hair feeling so stripped but this does not do that. So that's one reason. Obviously the pump makes it really easy to use and Plain Products, what they do, what this company's whole mission is, is refillable body care products. So you can use this up, send the bottle back, they will reuse it and then you'll get another one put back into your shower. These are also, you can keep these, you just send back the bottle and you reuse these as well. I know there are always a lot of questions about shipping and if that's really a good thing or not, but also I offset all of my carbon footprint. So I pay monthly to offset my carbon footprint and. I think it's well worth it to have this in my life. Other categories are ranking all these shampoo buys are lather. This lathers really nicely in my hair, but something I should disclaim for sure is that we have soft water. So I tested all of these shampoos with the same water, but we do have a water softener. So obviously that changes a little bit about each of these. If you have hard water, it might be a little bit different for you. The answers to all the other questions are basically yes, no, yes, no answers. So does it have palm oil? No, all of Plain products are palm oil free. Is it cruelty free? Yes. Is it vegan? Yes. Does it have SLS? No. So this is completely SLS free. All the good things that you would be looking for in a shampoo. Something else a lot of you guys asked about is the smell. So we'll be going through the smell of each of these. This one has a biodegradable formula. So the fragrances in here are not artificial. They are biodegradable, but it is a rosemary vanilla mint scent. And at this point I've been using this shampoo for so long that I don't really smell it. It's just like a regular old hair wash to me. There's nothing overwhelming about this scent. So that's how I feel about plain products. That's why I've been using them for over a year now. Additional notes I wrote down to tell you guys about this one is I actually only repurchase this like twice a year, only like every six months. 
I think something I'm gonna talk about coming up soon in a video is the amount of product that we use in several aspects of our lives, but especially in things like shampoo. I think people are using way too much, washing their hair way too often, and so I only have to buy this twice a year, which, uh, yeah, is a really good deal for me, so. Plain products, my number one. Next up, we have my favorite shampoo bar that I tried during this experiment, and that is this little guy by Ethique. So the shampoo bar I've been using before I tested out all of these is a shampoo bar from Lush that is meant for hair with dandruff. And this one, the feeling of it, even just it now in my fingers, feels very similar to that one. And what's actually really cool about Ethique is they have a test on their website. So you can go there, put in what your hair concerns are, what your hair type is, etc., and they'll tell you which of their shampoo bars is best suited for your hair. I think that's really helpful because a lot of these shampoo bars we're gonna talk about today, the brand only offers one shampoo bar. So these guys are really, really cool. Let's get into the things you guys asked about. The after wash feel on this one is not stripping. This does not make me feel like, oh my God, I need to put a conditioner in my hair, which is why I like it. That's probably why these are ranked in the order that they do is basically what's most important to me is the after feel wash because I think the most eco-friendly thing I do about my hair care is I don't require a second product. And so these are kind of ranked based on that aspect. But so the after feel wash is good. It doesn't make your hair feel stripped. It feels nourished, but not hard to rinse out. Remember that for some of the other ones we're gonna talk about. The lather is really, really good. No complaints on the lather. It does lather up in your hair well. You're able to wash and get it all out very, very nicely. The smell on this one is, um, this one particularly is the kiwi, but it's a very faint smell. Like from here, I cannot smell it. So it's a very light smell. When I put it up to my nose, obviously then I can smell it. But it doesn't last in your hair. You're not gonna be smelling. That's like a pet peeve of mine. If I can smell my shampoo after my shower, I can't do it, it'll give me a headache. All of Ethique's products are palm oil free. They are also cruelty free and they are all vegan. But the thing about SLS on this guy is, is I couldn't find a solid answer on their website if they are SLS free or not. And actually something really interesting I learned about SLS and sulfates and stuff like that in general recently is actually there are a lot of different types of sulfates, not just what people think of as SLS, but that a surfactant can be hidden under a number of names. And that doesn't mean it's bad unless you have a really, really sensitive scalp. SLS is not bad for the environment. It can be bad for sensitive scalps though. So the site was not totally clear on if Ethique is SLS free or not, but what I did find on their website is that they do use soponified coconut oil which is a surfactant that does the same similar thing that SLS does. So not sure if they're SLS free or not, but I know they do use a surfactant. And additional notes about this guy is that they actually recently started selling in Target. So it's super accessible um, and I like that about this little guy. All right, my last favorite of the video actually because the rest of them are just like, all right, yeah, I tried them and they're not terrible, but whatever. This is another one of my favorites. It's actually by a small woman owned company and I have tested this one in the past um, and then I still had it, so I included it in this roundup. They come in little tins like this. You can order this online, I'll link it below. But this company is owned by a woman who used to make these out of her van. She lived in a solar powered van, ran this company out of her van, and has grown the company to be something more of like a real full-time business. She has a shop, I believe in South Dakota now. Her name is Callie, I follow her on Instagram, so I'm kind of invested in this company emotionally. But yeah, I'm gonna have this one linked below. So to answer all the questions about this guy, it lathers really, really nicely. The smell, it's a tea tree smell. It is not the most pleasant scent, but again, Maybe I should also disclose, I don't have the best smell, smeller sense of smell in the world. So me telling you I can't smell it from here, take that with a grain of salt. But when you put it up to your nose, it's not the most like florally scent or like clean scent. It has a sm scent of like soap and a little bit of tea tree, but I don't mind it. And again, the smell doesn't last after you've shampooed your hair. To answer all of the questions that are important to you guys, let's get into it. How does it lather? It lathers really well. How does it smell? We just went over that. Um, and the answers to all the questions are, there is no palm oil, they are cruelty free, they are vegan, and there is no SLS in this shampoo bar. So yeah, this one, I don't even know if I said the name of the company. I like went on about the woman behind the company. The company is called Bestowed Essentials. So check her out. 
big fan. I'm feeling like I really need to wash my hands. Uh, before we jump into the next one, I would love to hear in the comments if I missed a shampoo that you really wanted to see reviewed, and I can maybe do a review of it some other time, some other place, or let me know if you use any of these or if you've had a different experience with any of them. Of course, people in the comments would love to hear from people who have tested these out from people other than just me. To get a multitude of perspectives is always important to me, and I'm sure to a lot of you guys in the comments. So there's a wonderful community of people in the comment section highly encourage you to interact on there. All right, now let me just go through the rest of them that I have. Let's start with my company that I admire the most, but I was not as impressed with their shampoo bar. This one is by Meow Meow Tweet. And like I said, I am basing a lot of what is my favorite versus what is not on one category specifically, which is the after wash feel. A lot of you guys said that was important to you. So for Meow Meow Tweet, I did feel after I washed my hair with this, I needed the conditioner. So I did use the conditioner, even though I normally don't use them. Um, and Meow Meow Tweet, it smells pretty good because it's lavender, but it does leave your hair feeling really, really stripped. And then I feel like you have to accompany it with the conditioner bar. So that's the reason they're not ranked any higher on my personal scale, but let's go through the questions that are important to you guys, like I said. I was pretty impressed with the way this one lathers. I don't think that's a concern that you need to be worried about if it's going to lather or not. I find that the Meow Meow Tweet one lathers pretty nicely. They do not use any palm oil. They are, of course, vegan and cruelty-free. All of these are vegan and cruelty-free, but just so we know for each one, and they do not use um, any sulfate. So that is the answer with Meow Meow Tweet. I tested it, wasn't too impressed. Like I said, the thing that's most important to me is how it leaves my skin feeling stripped or not. Uh, or my hair feeling stripped or not. I also know though that there are plenty of people on the internet that say this is the best shampoo bar they've ever used. So definitely check out those reviews as well. Maybe someone in the comments will say they absolutely loved this, but it was not my favorite throughout this test. I do love Meow Meow Tweet as a company though. I do have to tell you, I think what they're doing is great. I love the company. I use some of their products. Just, I think there are better ones out there for my personal hair type. I guess my next least favorite or most favorite of the ones I don't love are Lush shampoo bars. So you can't make a video about shampoo bars without talking about Lush. If I'm not mistaken, they are one of the first people who ever invented the shampoo bar. Uh, I know they invented the bath bomb. And so I have quite a few shampoo bars here from Lush that I compared. To be honest with you, over the years, for the last probably, yeah, 10, literally 10 years, I've tested almost every single, what do you call it, shampoo bar from Lush. All of these are no different. I honestly think that Lush has all these shampoo bars that are meant to like cater to different sort of hair types, but I really think that all of their disc ones like this are very, very similar. Throughout the last 10 years, like I said, I've tested nearly every single one of them because I just wanted to make sure I would land on the one that I liked the most. And that was before I knew there were other brands out there of zero waste hair care. So I've been through many, many of these. This is actually the first one I ever owned. And I don't necessarily think that they're bad. I just think that there are some qualities about these guys that they're are other companies doing better in that area, if that makes sense. So let's just run through all the things that we are quantifying these by, right? So first of all is the feeling on your hair after you wash it out. These guys definitely leave your hair feeling pretty squeaky clean. Now in the past, I have used them and not used any conditioner afterwards and been okay. Some of these other ones actually do definitely feel more stripping than these, but these are not gonna leave your hair feeling like nourished. It definitely feels pretty stripped. The smell on these is the strongest out of all of the shampoo bars that I've had. And I think that's because Lush definitely caters to people coming to the movement and getting them interested, right? Lush is pretty trendy and exciting and can get like the average girl who is used to using like a shampoo in a plastic bottle onto something like this. And that's what I think Lush is really good for in this case. The questions that you all want to know about are, does it have palm oil? That is a convoluted question, um, but the answer I believe is yes. I think that they make their surfactant from palm oil. Um, what's really interesting about palm oil is just in general, it is a very sustainable oil, one of the most sustainable plant oils on the planet, but the way it's being farmed right now is really destructive to the environment and natural habitats, and that's why you should really try to avoid palm oil at every area that you possibly can. Um, Lush does have an entire page on their website about their palm oil like journey and what they've been doing to get it out of their products, etc. I did have a chance to go to Lush and talk to them about a lot of this. That video is coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. But the short answer is yes, they do still use palm oil specifically in these products. And it is not SLS free, so these definitely, they are open about having SLS in their shampoo bars, but they are vegan and they are cruelty free. I also think that it's really cool that Lush is super accessible. You can go to like a Lush anywhere in the country and get one of these. So I love that idea about it and that it's completely package free when you go to the store 
store to get it. There's not even paper or anything that you have to get. So I definitely think Lush has a place in the market. I think they've led the way in many things, but it's not my favorite after testing all of these. With that being said, I did hold up all of the Puck ones, but I didn't hold up these two guys. So this is Avocado Co-Wash and this is uh, Trichomania. This is my favorite shampoo bar by Lush. It has a lot softer scent than a lot of the other ones, but it's meant for hair with dandruff. These two, this one from Athique and this one from Lush are like head to head for me. So I'll continue testing and see which one I end up liking the most. But I did want to point out that these are also a part of Lush's range that do not have the same texture. All right, next. This is a shampoo bar by J.R. Liggett. Can you even tell the difference in all of these shampoo bars at this point? This is why I had to take notes. So J.R. Liggett is pretty accessible. You can find them at a lot of health food stores, which is the additional note I put on here to say that is positive about them. You can find them in a lot of places. So that's pretty cool. But this is ranked lower on my list because of the squeaky clean feeling it leaves your hair with. Most of the other ones that made my hair feel squeaky clean, um, one other one that we're gonna talk about soon, and this one, those all came with conditioner bars, but this one did not. So this one left my hair feeling squeaky clean, but doesn't have a conditioner bar to accompany it. That's why it's so far down on my list. It does lather really well, I will give it that. They also have an unscented shampoo bar. I think that's the only one I've seen that has an unscented shampoo bar. So I know a lot of you guys out there are sensitive to fragrance, want to avoid it. JR Liggett has an unscented one for you. I think in fact, that's what this one is. In addition, they have a bunch of different scents, so you can check that out. They do not use palm oil, they do not use SLS, they are vegan, and they are cruelty free. This one is just lower on my list because, like I said, it left my hair feeling pretty squeaky clean and didn't come with a conditioner. These last two, I'm not sure which one I want to put as my least favorite, uh, or which one I like more, which one I like less, so let's just go... Uh, let's just go with this one. These neat little shaped guys are by a company called High Bar. Now a lot of you guys asked me to test this out. Some of you guys told me you already use this and that you love it. I'm perplexed by that. <laughs> First open these, I thought I was going to love them because they're so weirdly shaped, right? Most of the other ones are either just like a square bar of soap or like a puck shape. And so I thought these look like they'd be easy to hold in your hand because it seems like it's like a handle and then rub or rub in your hair. Problem is, <laughs> the surface area of this is so small that it's very, I feel, hard to distribute the product throughout your hair or throughout your hands. I think the concept was a good idea, but it wouldn't get in my hair. And so for a good while trying to use this, I thought it wasn't lathering, but I think what was happening is I just didn't get enough product in my hair. It was taking me so long to get enough product to actually get it to like suds up. So I would say it does suds up, but yeah, it takes a while. It's complicated. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this shape like I thought I would be when I opened it. I did feel like I had to rinse it out of my hair multiple times and I'm not a big fan of that. Now the smell on this I do love and I wish I liked the formula more because I love the smell on this. It smells very reminiscent of my face wash, my Osea Ocean Cleanser. I love that smell. It's like a non-artificial version of Sour Skittles and it's just so good. Questions that most of you thought were really important is, is it palm oil free? Yes, no palm oil. Vegan and cruelty free? Yes, does it have SLS? No. So that's the nitty gritty on these guys. Not super highly recommended from me, but you can go to the link in the description, read more reviews about it, and uh, let me know in the comments if you use it and you love it, because I've, I've gotten comments from you guys saying that you do. So if you're curious about this one in particular, read the comments, maybe someone else can help you out. And last but not least, this is a shampoo bar combination that many people have recommended to me, say they use and they love, particularly for people with curly hair. So I actually got a lot of comments about that uh, whenever I asked what shampoos you guys look for, and people were saying shampoos for curly haired people like a lot of people are having trouble with that You guys should know that two of my good friends here on YouTube Sedona Christina and sustainably vegan Why do all of our names start with S's? I never thought about that before right now How weird anyway, they both have curly hair and they can both definitely help you out with Recommendations on that because that's not I I don't know how it would perform in my hair because I don't have curly hair, right? But I know Christina Christy she used these and actually I think that's what got a lot of people onto it and a lot of people asking me to test it out for this video. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like ranked at the bottom of my list and I'll tell you why. Number one, because this does not lather great. This, out of all the shampoos I tested, this lathered the least. So I was not impressed by that. Also, another thing with this guy, same with High Bar, it was hard to rinse out of my hair. I felt like I had to do multiple rinses to get this stuff out of my hair. Now, we'll go through the questions that most of you guys want to know about. So we already talked about lathering. I'm smelling here. 
The smell is not strong with these. I don't think they, I don't know if they necessarily have a scent, like there's no scent name on the bar. I wouldn't say it's unscented, but there's no strong scent in here for sure. There is no palm oil in these guys. They are vegan, they are cruelty free, and there is no SLS. The downfall of these, and why another reason, aside from everything I already said that makes them rank the lowest on my thing, is they used to be sold in Ulta. They're no longer sold at Ulta, unfortunately. Which means that since so many of you guys were asking me for it, I actually had to order these guys from the only retailer that I know of that sells them, which is Urban Outfitters. And the reason I don't love that is because these actually each came packaged in a plastic bag. That's so lame. The thing is, is like when you get stuff when you order it online, you see the package that each thing you buy comes purchased in, right? But, and none of these other ones did that. But something you might not know is like in the store or maybe like the retailer or whatever, these could even be coming to them in plastic bags and they're taking them out and shipping it to you. You would never know. So I don't know if that's really a concern with these guys or not. Like these other ones could be doing that. You're just not seeing it. And with these, since I ordered it from a retailer like Urban Outfitters, they didn't care to remove the plastic before they sent it to me. Regardless, I felt like I should disclose that these came in little plastic bags from Urban Outfitters. But I'll have it linked below. Um, it's just not my favorite, but Christy has sworn by it before. And many of you probably in the comments will say it's great. So. Read other people's comments, not mine. <laughs> oh man, I feel like my last few videos have been me talking so much. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. I hope I answered all the questions you had. If I missed any, let me know in the comments down below. I am just doing my absolute best to serve you guys and help you figure out what is best for your hair, what is best for your lifestyle. I wanna make videos like this in so many other categories. Trust me, I have a lot planned for 2020. Let me know what other kind of videos like this you'd like to see. I, I just really hope it was helpful. My throat really hurts. I almost just dropped all these shampoo bars. I gotta go, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.